Hi there, I hope you're doing well. It's Yumi, I'm the artist behind Yumi in Color. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you another sketchbook tour. I shared with you the first sketchbook I've ever finished a couple months ago, I think now. It was when I was in Korea and I brought a sketchbook with me and that was the first time I ever finished a sketchbook and this one's my second one. I'm excited to share with you all for each page and just telling you about my journey with the sketchbooking. I feel like I discovered new things that I really loved painting and drawing and things that I was interested in. And I just feel like sketchbooks is just such a great way to find inspiration as an artist and also to grow as an artist because it's such a great space to play and explore new things. I felt like that was something that I discovered within using the sketchbook this time around. So I'm excited to share with you all and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so we're gonna get started with the sketchbook tour. First, I'm gonna share with you the cover. I like to put a lot of stickers on my sketchbooks just for fun. It feels kind of like scrapbooking in a way. And I used a lot of stickers that I got when I was in Korea, so like these Anne of Green Gable stickers that I really love, and then two of these are mine. So this sketchbook is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook. It's one of my favorites to use. It has a soft cover, which means it's quite bendable which I really appreciate in a sketchbook because I like to do large spreads. And when I do large spreads, I do bend the pages and the book bind quite a bit. So I really appreciate this one. This is mixed media paper, which is really great for any type of medium basically. So like you can use acrylic, gouache, watercolor, and color pencils with these, which I've used quite a bit in here. And it holds the, holds the medium really well with this type of paper. So I definitely recommend this. I'll add a link to this sketchbook down below that so that you can check it out and i'm excited to share with you the first page that i did in the sketchbook here we have a painting inspired by a picture that i took when i was in sokcho korea there was this beautiful hydrangea garden that was by this beautiful like river area and i really wanted to emulate the feeling that i felt when i was there and so i have this here And then the next page is one of my favorite spreads in the sketchbook because the one on the right was a collab piece that I did on Instagram where I asked my followers to tell me what to draw basically based on some of their favorite words and I use that to inspire, I use that as inspiration for this painting which I really loved. And then here I have some orchids and a teapot that I saw at a local plant shop. And I just really love the pattern of that teapot, so I really wanted to draw it in this sketchbook. Here is another favorite page of mine. This was a page that I dedicated to my trip to the American Art Museum when I visited D DC with my sister and a friend. It was a really special day. We had so much fun exploring the museums and I felt so impacted by the art I was seeing and literally almost had tears in my eyes when I was looking at some of the pieces. And so I really wanted to capture the feeling that I had of that day and did some uh, studies of the paintings that I saw there and a little sculpture, the sculpture garden that I recreated in my own version that I really enjoyed. So this was a really special day. Here we just have some color swatches. My godmother had gifted me some new watercolors that I really wanted to try out. So I did a whole swatch page for that. Then here I just did some doodles. Here was a page that I also really enjoyed doing. This was another artist studies at another art museum called the North Carolina Museum of Art when I was down in North Carolina for Christmas break and having a nice mini vacation with my mom, my god godmother, and my sister. My sister and I actually went to visit the North Carolina Museum of Art, which is one of my favorite art museums, and I saw some of the paintings there that I really wanted to emulate and do a little study of. Um, this one is pretty much smudged out, but it's a Monet painting and I absolutely love the colors. It really spoke to me personally. I think my favorite painting that I saw that day was this piece called Blue Landscape by Milton Airy Avery. I just love the color palette of it and the simplicity of it. It really spoke to me and I felt like it was a very special piece. 
So I really enjoyed that. And it was just a really fun day being able to explore the art museum and do some studies of it. And I think later that day, I drew some more on, on this page at a local coffee shop, which just really made the day even more delightful. Then here I just have some random drawings of and paintings of things that I've been enjoying. So this mug is actually really special. I've been eyeing this structure mug that a beautiful ceramicist artist, her name is Waverly Long, and she owns like her own ceramic business where she makes mugs and other things that are just so beautiful and I've been eyeing this chartreuse colored mug for so long and we actually ended up doing an artist swap together so she got a couple of my paintings and I got this beautiful mug that I literally drink out of every day I have my morning cup of coffee in it so it was something that I've been really delighting in and so I just wanted to document that in my sketchbook and then here we have my Monsera plant. I call her Lorelei. It was a plant gifted to me by a friend of mine, a dear, dear friend of mine. She got it for me for my birthday, which was really sweet, and I absolutely adore this plant. And then here, this was actually inspired by a picture I took of a black cat that I saw in a parking lot somewhere, I forget, but it was such a cute kitty, and I wanted to sort of document that moment of just feeling so much joy seeing this cat and feeling so happy to see this cat and made it kind of like more whimsical and woodsy here. So I call it my Gigi in the woods painting because it reminds me of Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. And then here, this was my Patreon painting I made for, I believe, December. These were all inspired by words from my patrons that I asked, uh, just like words that they felt like was something that they really resonated for the upcoming year of 2022. And these were some of the words that they shared with me, um, as you can see here. And I used those words to inspire me to create a painting specifically from those words that they had shared with me. And so this is what I came up with and created for the Patreon reward for my Persimmon Pals tier. It's one of my favorite things to do on Patreon is to do a lot of collab collaboration projects with my patrons and this was one of them and I absolutely loved how this painting turned out and how much it reflected I feel like the words that they share with me. This page I got a lot of inspiration for this one from an Instagrammer I follow. Her name is Lee from America that's her handle name and she's just like one of my biggest style inspirations and so I saw this dress uh, that she had or not this dress this fit that she had posted on her story and I was like oh my gosh I need to draw this because that is literally my dream dress I believe the dress is from this company called Selkie and they make these beautiful whimsical like princessy type of dresses that is literally dress of my dreams honestly <laughs> and so I really wanted to draw that and at kind of like this was like the main focus of the page the focal point and I sort of just like continued on from that and like added all these flowers and like a little picnic and little swirls and everything just to complement the dress that I really desire so I just loved her outfit that day and really wanted to like remember it for the future whenever I would find an outfit similar to this so really enjoyed doing this page so this is my cake appreciation page. My sister bought me this cake that was handmade by a, a local baker and she just made makes the most beautiful cakes. I'll have to link her info at the bottom and it was just one of the sweetest gifts ever. She gave gifted to me for Christmas and so I really wanted to paint it and I just really loved how the cake turned out. It was like the cake of my dreams, honestly. And then here, along with going with hopefully manifesting some more dreams. This another Selkie dress that I saw on their Instagram that I really loved and kind of reminded me a bit of this cake that my sister got me. And then here are some more pages of kind of just like things that I was feeling and doodles and paintings of things. Kind of doing a lot of color swatches, just kind of experimenting what I was feeling. Honestly, was not super feeling any of these pages. It's just kind of like a time of figuring out what I really wanted to draw and paint. 
this is sort of where I started to really enjoy what I was doing. I really enjoy this little persimmon branch here and then this vase full of flowers and then this butterfly that I really liked. Big fan of butterflies and persimmons and flowers. So all favorite things of mine here. And then here I did some more experimenting of just colors and swatches as you can see here. Here I painted this page actually when there was this huge winter storm that happened in my area and it like took out all the power. We had no water, no electricity, and it was freezing cold. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna paint to handle my anxiety about the fact that we didn't have any power or any water. So I painted this of that day and was just kind of trying to process my feelings and kind of dreaming into a different place by painting this page. So always will remind me of that moment when we didn't have any power and there was a huge snowstorm. And then here I did another painting. I was kind of wanting to experiment textures of the sky with gouache and color pencil and I really enjoyed how it turned out here. And then another wintry one because it was very deep in the winter season. It snowed so many times this winter actually and I really loved the colors of the sunset whenever it would snow like it would kind of glow these very beautiful like pink and yellows and purples and I really wanted to capture that in this painting and have it be really cozy this one's an unfinished one I was sort of just like experimenting with an idea I had that I didn't super like how it turned out but it is what it is that's what a sketchbook is to explore things and then here's another one that I was exploring with colors and textures with watercolor honestly i'm a really big fan of this red here it's like super bright and pigmented and so i really kind of wanted to work around using this red as the main piece of this experimentation page and then some more flowers and textures try to do a still there still life painting or drawing and i just did, could not commit to it i was like not feeling it honestly so there's that and then some more experimenting with watercolor and gouache and then here was a page that was very much inspired by these pictures these film pictures that my sister and I took when we were in Korea and one of them was of the rice fields when I was in living in Yongam for like a month which is where my aunt lives and it was just like a really beautiful picture of like these cotton candy skies and the rice grains of rice blowing in the wind and it was just so magical that I really wanted to capture it in this page. Here we have some more I always call these cosmos no they are cosmos flowers I always call them crocus flowers on accident but these are some cosmos flowers that I was looking at from, again, my camera roll of some pictures I took in Korea because these were abundantly growing everywhere in Korea, especially in the summer. And so I just, I just love like the orange ones, especially like those were really fun to paint and I really enjoyed doing that. Another attempt at doing some still there, still life. It's like an Instagram page, if you didn't know, of um, a group of artists that choose like a photograph or some kind of still life. And everyone can like do it based on their interpretation and inspiration. And so I really was interested in it because I absolutely love what they're doing. And I'm so for that because I feel like it's such a great place to find inspiration and to start painting and stuff and so that's what I was doing I was trying to find some more inspiration because I was kind of feeling stuck actually here not fully fully figuring out what I wanted to paint or what I wanted to do so I did some uh, I did a prompt from still there still life and kind of experimented with that and then here it was the beginning of January actually I believe it's starting no actually this was much later into January because this was when I did um the celebration of the new year, or the lunar new year. And this was to celebrate the year of the tiger because that is what this year is. And I was initially inspired by a Korean folk painting that I saw of a tiger. And honestly, it's kind of terrifying because the way that traditional Korean folk paintings depict tigers is really terrifying. They have like 
big sharp teeth and claws and the eyes look super crazed and stuff and so that was with my reference photo and I ended up making a very very friendly happy tiger in response to it so <laughs> my sort of interpretation of that um that tiger painting that I was looking at and I have the tiger kind of climbing this rock and then having these persimmons bloom as a sign of abundance and some what are these called? Peony flowers um, that were in that painting that I was using as reference. And then here's probably like one of my other favorite pages, which is my kimchi page. I've been really inspired by Korean food, Korean cooking recently as a way to connect with my culture, my Korean heritage. And I found these pictures that my mom and I took when we made kimchi together back in 2020 and they really meant something really deeply in me like just making homemade kimchi together felt so special and I felt so connected with my culture and my family and so I really wanted to celebrate that within this spread. So here we have the cabbage cabbage leaves and then the kimchi there's even pink kimchi as well which is very delicious and then chilies and some more kimchi here but yeah this was definitely a very special page for me i really enjoyed doing this one another attempt at still there's still life i saw it was i believe this was from their the month of February and I saw this picture and it had like this espresso pot some I believe bread or scones and then like jelly and coffee and daffodils and immediately I was like oh my gosh that reminds me so much of when I was in Scotland and I was studying abroad in Glasgow back when I was in college and these were all things that really reminded me of that time there so I really wanted to do this still life and felt really determined to finish it so you can see all the practice ones that I did and then here is the final like page spread that I did inspired by that piece and I really really enjoyed doing this one I felt so nostalgic about that time when I was in Glasgow and was studying abroad and had a lot of espressos and scones and like jam and daffodils like I would go to the local like grocery store either it was Tesco or Sansbury it was like right next to my dorm and I would always go and get daffodils that were about a pound each and always would try to have fresh flowers in my dorm and so those daffodils really reminded me of that time and it felt really special to create this spread and then here we have some Michel plums these are plums that my grandpa actually planted in my backyard and I really wanted to remember that and to put that in my sketchbook so mesher is basically like a really delicious plum tea it's really good for your stomach whenever you're feeling like uh, indigestion or anything like that so I really wanted to have that in this page and I really enjoyed how it turned out here is my tomato appreciation page. Really big fan of tomatoes. I just love how versatile they are and how delicious. I was really into making tomato soup, which is probably why I had this idea of painting a tomato page. Um, as you can see, I feel like from the beginning to now, like I started finding food as a source of inspiration and I just really continued to go along that path. And then this is my last page that I did. It's also another favorite page of mine. It was inspired by basically all the favorite things that I've been enjoying within the past couple weeks. So like this croissant and coffee and then some makeup that I got from Rare Beauty. It was like my first Rare Beauty purchase for myself. And I absolutely love their makeup. It was like their mini kit. And honestly, the blush that I got from them will probably last me for many, many years because I use it every day and it's still not out and it's super pigmented and I absolutely love that and then here I have flowers that I saw at the grocery store at Wegmans and I just thought they were so beautiful and so I really wanted to paint those and then here we have Jane Eyre which is the book that I was reading in February and I only had three chapters left but I had to return it back to the library because my time with it was up so I'm waiting for it to come back so I can finish up the last three chapters, but I really enjoy reading this book. 
And then here we have this NYX Jumbo Pencil, which I really liked. It was like a colorful eyeliner and I was trying to do some more like exploring with more color in my makeup, which I really enjoyed. And then Sundubu, I made a lot of that during that month and it's like the soft tofu stew, which is really delicious. And honestly, I'm really craving that right now. So I might try to make some this week. And then here's a persimmon plant that my dad paint planted. And then some chocolate that I really love. Oranges and chocolate are a really great combination, honestly. So 10 out of 10 recommend. These were really great. And little orange pieces down here as well. And then that's it. That is the end of my sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed like going through sort of like from the beginning to the end and finding how my source of inspiration had changed over the past couple months within the sketchbook. So I'm excited to share more with you all. Let me know if you like this video and share a comment down below if you had a favorite page or what you're feeling inspired by recently in your sketchbook. I'm excited to start a new one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.